Hello there, happy Wednesday, Mercury Day, Mercredi in French, it's Mercury Day. Um, it is probably around noon, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday, so I worked Monday and Tuesday from 4 to midnight, and on Monday I feel like I started out the day on the right foot because I did a 32 minute jog on the treadmill at the gym, and then I did a little bit of yoga and today it's a rainy day i don't know if you can see it's it's a gloomy rainy day and actually i feel quite happy about that um yeah i decided i would start to record this vlog on wednesday because um i was thinking that uh the vlog would be boring because there wouldn't be much going on but today's my day off and I work tomorrow, Thursday, but today's my day off and um, I slept in a little bit because I was tired because I went to bed pretty late. I'm at my partner's house. Um, I just finished washing my face and putting my cream on my face and I'm drinking a protein shake. Actually, I wanted to show you. Um, it's this Isolate Zero 100% Whey Protein Powder that my partner bought me in pink lemonade. It's like a protein slash um, drink. It's not like very thick. It's, it's more thin like a pro, like a pink lemonade juice. Um, but it's got protein in it. It's got just a sec. Sorry. <laughs> so it's got for one scoop, which is what I take, it has 90 calories and it has 20 grams of protein. So I feel like that's really good. I'm the type of person that has a hard time eating breakfast, even though it is past 11 a.m. Um, I usually get nauseous if I eat something too heavy. It's rare that I'll eat something heavy for breakfast. Um, my partner is going to work today, so um, I have the rest of the day to myself after 2.45, 3 p.m. Um, I have a few things on the agenda for today. I do want to go to the gym. Um, I also want to go to buy a few things at the um, at the mall and I was thinking about going to the secondhand stores, one or both of them, and I also want to cook a meal for my sister who's pregnant and I want to record my week ahead reading videos. So there's a lot I want to do today. So hopefully I can get that all done. I think I can if I budget my time correctly. Um, I, I didn't do a week ahead reading for my YouTube channel last week. So I, I mean, I did one, but I, it was a quick reading and I didn't want to upload it because I didn't think it was very um, good. So I think, I can't remember what the card was for today, but um, it kind of feels like a five of cups day just because of the weather, just because the weather looks gloomy. There's like rain on the, see it's like a dark cloudy day, there's like rain on the window, so um, yeah, it's like lots of clouds in the sky, rain on the balcony, so yeah, it's a rainy day as you can see. I don't mind it. It's a change from the sunny weather that we had yesterday. So this is what I do for my altar space. It's a little bit blurry. It says, what's your poison? You've seen this before. Um, today I am oh, I'm burning incense. And the incense, sorry, it's all falling out. The incense that I chose to burn on my Portable altar, let's call it. Today is the success incense by him. Yeah, this um, this incense is a really good price. Um, my partner found this dollar store where they sell foam cases and the, the protective glass that you put over it. And they found this success incense there. They have a lot of different incenses. These ones are $1.25 Canadian, so it's a really good price. So. The candle is burning, the incense is burning. It smells really good. It kind of smells like a fire, like a campfire. 
Um, of course, smoke usually does, but this one smells very woody and kind of reminds me of when I first lit incense on my altar. <laughs> so I'm just going to give thanks to my gods and goddesses and spend a couple minutes here. So it's um, almost 3 p.m. We went to the grocery store to buy a few things and the dollar store and Walmart to pick up some stuff. And I'm at the gym now. It's almost, uh, actually it's almost 3 p.m. like I said. And I really don't feel like being here. I don't feel like being here. I, I really want to get my heart pumping. I really want to move my body and move the energy through my body, but I really just, just want to fall asleep. Like I'm not interested right now. In the morning I was interested and now I'm just like not interested. I'm not sure if I should just push myself to jog for half an hour or if I should just scrap the jogging since I did it on Monday and uh, just do weights today. Just get my, I feel like my upper body needs a little bit of tension. So I think, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do um, legs and back today and abs. We'll see. So I started my workout listening to solfeggio frequencies just to kind of relax and get into a headspace where I felt calm enough to um, get my workout started, to kind of cool my jets and focus on what was ahead of me. So I started with um, uh, the back pulls. Um, because I was doing back and um, legs and abs. So I started with back pulls. I did three sets um, on each exercise. So um, 10 to 15 reps on each set. And then I started listening to some gothic music um, just to set the tone. I don't know. I really um, rely a lot on my music when I'm working out just because um, my mu music puts me in the headspace where I can focus on what I have to do and it kind of balances my mood. So now I did lat pull downs. I did three sets of lat pull downs and um, I'm trying to do a decent amount of weight um, so that I can get some muscle definition. I am taking protein powder as you saw so hopefully that will help my muscles to recover but I also take a lot of um, vitamins. I took a multivitamin and omegas and a few other different supplements um, to try to keep my body healthy so that it can keep building muscle. Um, and then I put on the Prodigy because I wanted to feel a little bit more aggressive coming off of the gothic music. Um, I started to get into more, more of the, the mood of wanting to work out. So I put on Prodigy and I let go some aggression there doing close grip um, lap pull downs. And again, I did three sets there, 10 to 15 reps, sometimes even 20 reps. Um, and I pull uh, in a way where I can actually feel my back muscle working. When you do do weightlifting, you wanna make sure that you engage the actual muscle that you're meant to be working out. So I was trying to feel my lats working, yes, but mostly um, also my traps, like from upper to lower traps, because this is a close grip um, back pull down. And then I started listening to my Goisha slash Lucifer playlist. Um, again, just to be a little bit more aggressive. So then I did um, hip thrusts, three sets of hip, three sets of hip thrusts. Um, on my leg and chest day, I do squats, but on my back and legs day, I do hip thrusts for my for my glutes. So um, again, I was listening to my Goisha and Lucifer music, which is a playlist that I created on Spotify with a few songs on it um, that kind of connect me to my spirituality and what I believe in. Um, working out is very spiritual. I was watching Jasmine the Sage on YouTube do a voiceover of her workout and um, she was talking about connecting, like connecting to her body as being magical, which it is. I find that working out really um, grounds me into my root chakra so whenever I'm feeling a little bit too um, in my head and a little bit aggressive in my head like I've just been in my head too long and I start to feel a little bit like I need to release some energy and balance my body out that's when I do um, weights I didn't do any running today but um, I did do a pretty good workout with my weights and then I did leg extensions for my quads 
And oftentimes when I'm working out, um, I do think about the fact that this is my screenplay and I wrote this life that I'm living. And oftentimes I'll hear a voice in my head saying, come on, Sarah, you can do this. Or come on, don't give up. Or you got to push. Like, it's kind of like I have a personal trainer in my head that pushes me to keep going. And so then I did, um, my partner and I call this the butt blaster, but it's actually the um, glute uh, ad, ad, abduction. So abduction is pushing away. So it's the glute abduction. And that's also for your butt. Um, count, I count in my head um, 15, 10 to 15 to 20. And the weight I use is just a weight that I find is not too heavy. If you do weights that are a little bit too heavy, then a lot of the times you're not engaging the actual muscle that you want to engage in the workout. So if you make sure that you're not going too heavy, um, you could actually engage your muscle. And if you're too, if you're going too light, the, the weight will just kind of fly and it won't work your muscle the way it's meant to be worked. So then I was listening to AFI because AFI has that up that high high octave voice um and it's poppy and it's like getting to the end of the workout now so i'm kind of feeling a little bit more jolly so i'm listening to afi i'm happy because the workout has been going well um there is a mind muscle mind to muscle connection which i like to create when you think about how you want the exercise to be in your mind and you connect your mind to feeling the muscle that you're engaging um, there's that mind to muscle connection so you're connecting your mind to your body and you're remembering that you're a 3d human being and that this body is what is carrying you through this 3d realm so that you can experience your soul can experience being human so then i went to my i think this was my vampire playlist yeah i think it was the vampire playlist to do some um, leg press um, so I'm going back to like the gothic music here that I started listening to almost at the beginning. Uh, we're doing leg press and I did two plates on each side, which I don't usually do, but the weights were already on the machine and I didn't feel like moving them. Usually I do a plate 25 and so I did 245 plates, so that was good. Um, I also pay attention to how I'm breathing. That's another thing that connects me to my body when I'm working out, which I find is very helpful. It's just to try to breathe in and out as you push the weight. So usually they, they say exhale on effort. So whenever you're pushing the weight, you exhale. And whenever you're bringing the weight back in, you inhale. And then I did calf raises. Um, I think we're coming to the end of the workout now starting to feel good starting to feel like um, I'm back to being less aggressive I remember feeling like okay I can finally just be normal and be happy and not try to be so aggressive with the weight so I was being a little bit less aggressive with the uh, calf raises I did 25 pounds and 10 to 15 reps um, this is the point where I started looking in the mirror and being like oh nice like I'm, I'm seeing my body coming along um, the way I wanted to um, obviously, you know, working out benefits how you look, but it's also really important to move the energy in your body and to keep your muscles healthy. Um, it's important to lift, uh, even if it's just body weight, to just lift some weight to keep your muscles um, moving. Because um, they say if you don't use it, you lose it, right? So um, lifting weights also helps you to build stronger bones, and over time, your bones can get brittle and um, and fragile so lifting weights actually helps your bones to be stronger too um, I've been working out since I was about 16 I started with at-home workouts and um, and then I started getting into running when I was 21 and my at-home workouts were basically a body weight and then I started running when I was 21 and then at 22 I started doing um, I joined the YMCA and I did um, a lot of cardio and, and just a medium amount of weights um, so I've been doing that for a while so I've been working out for a while now but I feel like my my workouts are getting longer and more intense which I really appreciate obviously some days are different than some days are different than others and some weeks are better than others I'm trying to do a run two times a week and weights two times a week and yoga once a week Hi, 
sorry. Um, <laughs> I actually, um, so I finished my workout. It took me about an hour to do about 10 or 11 exercises. I didn't end up uh, doing any jogging, which I had originally intended to do, but um, when I got there, as you know, I didn't really feel like being there and I felt like my back, like my upper body needed some sort of workout. So I did my back, which um, also works out like the arms and the chest. Um, uh, because, like in the negative, like in the positive, you're working your back and in the negative, you're working your chest and your arms because they're like secondary muscles, I guess I could say. Um, and then I did uh, legs, uh, including calves. I didn't do squats because I don't do squats on leg day. I do hip thrusts, which you saw me doing, the one that you lift your, your butt up. You're on your back and you lift your butt up. So I did hip thrusts um, and I added in to the, um, I'm gonna add into the video what I was listening to and what sequence during my workout. I obviously can't add the music because I don't want to get a copyright claim um but um yeah it was a good workout the sun is out now as you can see in the background it looks sunny i just stopped in the village and i got myself a coffee and i stopped at the crystal store and um said hi to the owner and i think it, his, his brother was there as well because um uh his brother and the manager are dating so um, yeah, I said hi to the manager. She was really sweet. Um, I didn't buy any crystals. There was a few crystals that I picked up that I had intended on buying, but I'm actually trying to save my money for tattoos. I want to get more tattoos. And so if I can save money here and there, I, I will. Not that I didn't want to buy any crystals. And if I, if one had been calling to me, you know, intensely, I probably would have picked it up and bought it if it wasn't too expensive. But um, yeah, so the car is going. I'm gonna get moving. I'm going back to my apartment. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to Value Village today because I'm probably gonna go there on Friday with my sister and her daughter um, because it's uh, my sister. My sister's birthday was a couple days ago, and her daughter's birthday is the 26th, so which is Friday. And I'm off on Friday, so um, we're gonna meet up, and uh, I'm gonna give my sister her gift and um, my my niece her gift and we're gonna go shopping for uh, Alicia my my niece um, she's gonna buy some kids clothes hopefully um, she finds something at Walmart or Value Village which is a secondhand store Value Village is a secondhand store and they have a kids section as well there so yeah there's a couple things I want to get done today one I want to go home and make some African stew for my sister who's pregnant I want to bring it to her and I want to second I want to record my week ahead reading because I'll be busy for the rest of the week and I won't be at home I'll be with my partners so I won't have the opportunity to be in my own space and record the week ahead reading I missed the week ahead reading last week and I really enjoy doing them and I know my sisters really like watching them and I have a few subscribers who really enjoy them as well um, so I'm gonna try to get my check get going on that I'm gonna play some music on my drive home maybe listen to a whatsapp message I know I have to finish listening to my sister's whatsapp message so I might listen to that on the way home I'm gonna take the long way the lakeshore and it might take me about 20 minutes to get home all right see you later hey there it's 11 30 p.m. on uh, Wednesday 24th of May. I'm in my apartment in my room. Um, I did do the week ahead reading for my YouTube channel and I made the African stew for my sisters and uh, I stopped off at the crystal store as you know before I came home and now I'm heading back over to my partner's condo so uh tomorrow is work um we'll probably go to the gym tomorrow turned out to be a nice sunny day after all um i went over to see my sister to drop off some of the stew and she's doing well and i saw her and her husband it's been a very good day i feel like i've been able to accomplish everything that i wanted to accomplish today i didn't go to value village um or renaissance um which I probably will do on Friday with my sister and her daughter. So no biggie there. Um, 
I work with a few Croatian spirits and um, I feel like it's time to summon in another Croatian spirit and uh, I had somebody in mind but there's a block um, right now with that spirit so I've been advised to look into finding another one that wants to work with me at this time and maybe go back to the other one when the time is right. So um, yeah, that's it. Hey there, happy Thursday. So it is Thursday the uh, 25th of May, I believe. Um, I am in my partner's place. I'm just putting together some salad for us for supper because we're going to work tonight. We just went on a walk down to the water. Um, I'm really excited um, because I'm learning a little bit more about Marie Laveau, the voodoo, voodoo queen. Um, I actually bought the book by Denise Alvarado but I, and I started reading it, but I didn't finish reading it. So I, have a, I had a credit on Audible, so I purchased the Audible version of um, Marie Laveau by Denise Alvarado, so I'm listening to that. Um, Denise, uh, Marie Laveau is one of my goddesses. She's passed away. I wouldn't suggest making a live person a god or goddess, but to me she's a goddess. She's a voodoo goddess, and um, I have a represent representation of her on my altar, so I'm looking forward to learning more about her magic, her life, her um, effect on the world and what she stood for just because it's good to know about your gods and goddesses and I do want to know more as much as I can about each of my gods and goddesses. So we're going to work um, in a couple hours. It's 1.30 p.m. approximately so we'll probably be leaving at around 2.45 when I start work at 4 and yeah so it should be good. So it is 1.18, I thought it was 1.30, it's 1.18 p.m. And I am now honoring my gods and goddesses. I didn't get around to it this morning. I did get to meditate before the walk, but I didn't get to offer my gods and goddesses their, their coffee. I'm burning Buddha incense. Um, Buddha is actually one of my gods. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give thanks to each one of them by name and maybe say a little something and uh, blow out the candle and continue on my day. Hey there, it's Sunday and um, today is May 28th, I think, May 28th. So I'm just in the car getting a coffee from Starbucks and yesterday was Saturday, I worked um, yeah, pretty much just work. Um, and today we're going kayaking um, on the river, on the lake. Um, so I'll take you with me there and it should be fun. So here we have our kayak, our inflatable kayak. We have our life jackets in here. And I brought a deck of tarot cards for some reason. <laughs> I got our carrots and a protein shake. And we're going to get out on the water. Okay, so um, I'm just waiting for my partner to park the car. Like I said, we have our inflatable kayak and we're gonna go inflate it. I'm wearing my Ouija board witch bikini and uh, yeah, should be fine. Now, now we're not sure if we're gonna go kayaking because it's the water is choppy and our kayak will probably We've tossed around quite a bit. As you can hear, the waves are very strong. Don't worry, I'm not too much. Um, <laughs> which kind of sucks because we were really looking forward to going over to that island over there. Um, but it's windy out, so it makes sense that the waves are a little bit rough. Yeah, I can just see us like dressing to paddle through the main artery over there like we did last time. <laughs> it was hilarious last time. 
Yeah, it really sucks. I don't I don't think we're gonna end it. <laughs> but we have a plan, we have a plan B. We thought maybe we'd go downtown so we could always go. And I was wearing such a cute outfit and I wanted to take a picture. Can you just hold this? It's it's video TV. I just wanna show my outfit. So I have this cute cutie top. It's it's got the um I have my, my, yeah. I have the inside, oh, I can't take my shorts off, but my um, bikini bottom says witch on it. Uh, so yeah, um, but we could always just spend some time down by the water and uh, uh, we could put the, we could go for a walk. Anyways, we'll see. It's Sunday and I'm off work today, so um, we were gonna do something fun, right? We were gonna go kayaking, but we didn't realize it would be so choppy on the water. And uh, we've experienced that before and it's, it doesn't make for a good, um, a safe trip, even though we do have our um, life jackets, our life preservers. But um, plan B is we'll go back home, get dressed and go downtown. Um, or we will go to the gym and try to go back out on the water later on. So I just wanted to show you my, my bikini. So this is the um, Ouija board top. And at the back it looks like this. Very strappy. And then this is the witch bikini bottom with the little skull and crossbones. So we got our bus tickets <laughs> and we're walking through the underground passageway. It's a beautiful passageway. Real trees. And I'm with my partner and we're gonna go catch the bus. about 3 p.m. 3.15 we're at the Brew. We're at Canadian Tire at Atwater and my partner doesn't want to be in the video but um, he's looking at skateboards and uh, there's this World Industries skateboard and I used to like skater guys when I was in high school back here World Industries with a little raindrop and a little fire drop classic 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 so um there's also the this world tristan says it's a my partner says it's, this is a cruiser board here and this one's world industries too it's super cool cool wheels fluorescent <laughs> So um, yeah, it's like a blast from the past for him and, and even for me because I used to buy skater magazines and uh, I used to wear like big skater pants and like the skater shoes and the skater watch and the cute little um, tops t-shirts that were like short and small, they're like for kids, you know. Um, He doesn't want to be in the video, but if you can't see his face, he's not on the video. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. I have quite a large selection here at Canadian Tire. They have this one starting at $36.99, and the prices aren't bad. Like this one's $46.99 Canadian, this World Industries skateboard. And look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. The wheels are so cool. The fire and the water, eh, Tristan? Yeah. They got the fire and the water drop. I remember that. That's classic. There's a park in the middle of the city. Apparently it's called John Cabot Park. And you can hear the seagulls making their debut. <laughs> there they are, the pigeons. Pigeons and the seagulls getting along. Happy little family. <laughs> hey, we're in Chinatown. You can see from the signs that I keep passing by. Well, here it says Monsieur Poulet Fritz, which is French. 
but they have the Chinese writing underneath it. Um, we are going to Fo Bang, New York, which is a restaurant in uh, Chinatown, and we're gonna have some noodles and spring rolls and vegetables. It'll be really I'm good. so busy eating this delicious meal with my challenging chopsticks, even though I have a fork. It's vegetarian, it's delicious. I was eating it and I was like, oh shoot, I want to show you guys what I'm eating. It's so good. The bowels of the church over there. So we just finished our meal at Kobang, New York. It was delicious. I showed you. I didn't even think of recording it before I started eating it, but the presentation was nice. Um, New York is it Indonesian? Uh, Korean or Cantonese? Uh, Korean or Cantonese um, food was really good. And so now we hear the bells. There's Palais des Congrès. Run into a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day to go walking. We're going to Old Montreal. We're putting our feet in the water. There is the moon up there. Um, old Port, Old Port in Old Montreal, in uh, almost June, and we are enjoying putting our feet in the water. It was cold at first, but it has cheese, cheese. We stopped at the grocery store on the way home. We got this stuff to make African stew and a few other things. And so I'm drinking my coffee, my Halloween mug, trick or treating animals. <laughs> and we have our angel here. Turn around. You 
gracefully. I'm just going to um, peel the sweet potatoes and chop them up. Yeah, so um, I'm cooking the African stew and I am listening to an audiobook by Denise Alvarado, I think. Denise Alvarado. Um, and it's called Marie Laveau, the Voodoo Queen, Voodoo Queen um, because I think I mentioned that she's one of my goddesses and I have made a few puppets um, which are voodoo magic. Um, I don't know much about voodoo, but I have made a few puppets and I do honor Marie Laveau as a goddess and um, as somebody that I honor in that way, I do want to try to get to know her a little bit more and what her life was like. It is almost 10 p.m. and I finished making this stew, the African stew. It's chickpeas, sweet potatoes, kale, vegetable broth, onions, garlic, soya sauce, and peanut butter and some salt and pepper. And it's vegetarian. So that's done for the week. And I'm just gonna finish washing the dishes. Say hello to our angel as she swims around so cutely. Nine of Swords, how I feel right now. And the question was. What can I do for myself? Because I don't have an altar here. What can I do that will make me feel like I'm going to my altar? And I got the Nine of Swords for how I'm kind of feeling at the moment. And then I got the King of Cups, which is like, express your emotions with logic, but hold space for your emotions, but be logical about it. So what I understood from these two cards is, my the universe the universal spirit of the tarot is asking me to journal my feelings so that's the what i'm feeling right now and the the solution to me feeling like i want to go to my altar and talk a little bit um means logically write down how you're feeling hold space for yourself write down how you're feeling um yeah so that's what I'm gonna do before I go to bed tonight. It is almost 10:30 p.m. I was gonna um, I was gonna read my my practical magic um, textbook. I have a textbook here for information that I printed out from a practical magic. Uh, for this is practical magic. The course is um, being that witch. I think. Um, and it's by Aradia Arcanum, the Witch of Dark Light. Um, and so she has this manual, this workbook, um, full of witchy information. Herbs, candles, tuning of forks, um, planets, astrology, herbs. Oh, I said herbs. <laughs> so I was going to do that, but instead um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take it easy. I've, I've had a long day. Um, I think I'm just going to journal and maybe eat something and go to bed.